Hi everyone, this is Omega and Freddie, and we're here today to do an unboxing for you for April 2022 for the Witch's Moon. So let's go ahead and get started. If you um, like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to our little growing family here. And let's get started. I will have to um, tell you that this was soaking wet when um, this came last night. So I don't know what's gonna happen <laughs> once I open this. So let's just let it rip and see what happens. And hopefully this video won't cut out because I've been having trouble with that. So I don't know why I have like the highest amount of cloud storage ever. So happy birthday to the Aries people and Taurus, the daughters of Taurus, stubborn as a mule. Okay, I love, I love Tauruses though. They're wonderful grounded people. Please don't be stuck. Hey, Freddie, can you help me out? Okay, here we go. How are you guys doing? Oh, if you haven't noticed, painted here, this uh, living room here. Everything except for that side wall, which I'm gonna wallpaper, so. But I thought it was a very dramatic color. So we're liking it a lot. Hope you guys do too. Okay, this is what we got here. And we have gold string this time. Let me keep this. Free gift. Okay, Ooh, giraffes. And this is my oracle card, just like you guys will get your individual. Rise above earthly matters. Glide through life with grace. You are able to see the right path, stand tall in your self-worth, and love with a big heart. Oh, little giraffes. Aww. That's a beautiful tarot deck. It has a lion on the top. Is it a lion or a buffalo? No. Okay, now I must warn you ahead of time, I cannot find my glasses, so I will do the best I can. Oh, okay, this one isn't so hard. Deep within the woods, and um, I'll just do a quick synopsis. As we all walk along our magical paths, we can easily be burdened and distracted by what is happening everywhere around us, convincing ourselves that it must be more important than what lies before us. Although we are surrounded by important components of life, it is not until we walk deep into the woods or away from confusion and clutter that we can truly coincide with purpose and practice. It is within this state that we are perceptive to hearing from our guides and guardians. In this extremely exclusive collection, we work with the aspects of the deep woods that can bring us comfort, guidance, and grounding. Join us in April as we work with ancient guides and call upon their inspiration. Okay, so I'm not gonna look, because then I'll know. All right, um, this looks like a sigil and maybe a incantation. I call upon the sacred trees that surround, guide me, inspire me, feel so motive be. Okay, and, oh, this is cool. Oh, all the woods like woods, like different types of trees. You have alder, birch, dogwood, um, hazel, hickory. I mean, this is amazing. Definitely worth framing. You know, as having as reference or putting in your, your, uh, your book. Okay. Here we have Moroccan clay. Oh, it's not one I've seen so far. Astragalus roots. I don't think there's anything like asparagus. I love asparagus. And chia seed. Okay. Ooh. Wooded sanctuary. This must be the bath salts. It's in a green pouch this time. 
Okay. And this must be this the candle here. Is it going to be green? Oh, it's wet. As long as the wick isn't wet, it should be good. Yep, it's dark green. I love green. So what's the weather like where you guys are at? It was snowing here today in April. Ooh, it's rolled in some herbs here on the bottom. It's almost like um, tourmaline bluish green, like a cyan. Mm. Mm, smells good. It smells really fresh. Okay. And it looks like we have the green goddess. I don't know if this is oil. No, it's a spray. Even better. I love the sprays. And you know what? I could use this because my basement flooded last week and it was horrifying. I went down to do some laundry and two to four inches, the entire basement soaked. And I was like, okay, what am I going to do? So um, long story short, I got to this amazing plumber, cleared the drain, and you know, I thought like, you know, what did I put down the garbage disposal that would do something like this? It turns out there were roots that were in the line between my basement and the street. And it's been an ongoing problem. And he told me it was the neighbor's tree that's doing it. So, um, I mean, he just pulled out a ton of weeds. So, I mean, yeah, you know, it sucks and everything, but at least there was no sewage or anything. It was just, it was clear water with some like silt in it, but still, I mean, gross. So I could probably use this down there. It doesn't smell bad. It just smells like minerally. Is that a word? It just smells like, just like mildewy sort of. This smells really good. Okay. Hey, Freddie what he's doing what you looking at critter hey Freddie okay what else and what's this excited so I have family out in California and they're telling me it's 92 degrees today it's like 30 here today I'm so sad okay and looks like we have incense breath of the forest it looks like a wood carving what is this How neat is this? Look at that. The little face in it. I think it's a standalone. I don't think it, I don't think you mount it. I think you just like put it wherever. <laughs> this is nice. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. See if there's anything else left in here. Oh, and all the stuff like the wrapping stuff like stuff I recycle like when I give people gifts and stuff and I use this to stuff a bag or something soaked so I have to throw like half my stuff out it's not that bad because it was most of it wasn't like value as far as like sentimental value that stuff I kept up higher like my kids clothes and stuff that was saved but other stuff got soaked so let's go through this Okay, so we'll start with this this little beauty here. Hand-carved Earth Spirit Companion. Always been a strong belief in the creatures and spirits of the forest, deep within the woods, long before the age of enlightenment and science. Commonality of these spirits were in every household and on the lips of every member of a community. Um, I'm just going to paraphrase this because it's long. Um, it's like within this belief of an understanding the spirits and, you know, spirits in the trees and, you know, 
the flowers and the water, things like that. Um, folklore legends of the earth spirits were prominent. There are still many of us that work with these spirits and maintain a balance between in interpretation and offerings. So earth tree and water spirits, like I said, have been representative within countless testimonies and experiences spanning across from almost all cultures. Um, important to note that most of these spirits are guardians and protectors um, of the natural land. And it's important to note that most of these spirits, blah, 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 I'm like repeating myself. Hard when you don't have your glasses. Um, you see a lot of this in Scandinavia, like literally like, like gnomes and stuff. And if there's like a, a spirit or a fairy or, or a sprite, like in a certain road, I've heard, I don't know if this is true, that they won't build there. It's really weird. Um, kind of neat though. Um, okay. Represented as a goddess offering fertility in exchange for worship or local fairies, nymphs, and sprites. Hmm. It's important to note that most of these spirits are guarded, blah, blah, blah. Why do I keep, like, reading? Like, there are many other representations of spirits, such as Leshy, related to the Slavic god, poor wit. Leshy is said to be a protector and shapeshifter, banishing those that wander force in Scandinavia. Uldra, the seductress of the wild woman, can be found hidden by the lakes and streams, keeping a wary eye on intruders that may have ill intent. Um, as we work with them, your unique characteristics and personalities. They can be approached the same as introducing your energies to new plants and herbs. We open ourselves to understanding and recognizing their unique capabilities and provide an exchange of good intention. The hand-carved earth spirit companion that has been created exclusively for the subscribers of the Witch's Moon comes from an ethically sourced fallen and broken branches of the Glaricidia tree and have been naturally collected over the course of many moons. The bottom of this hand carved spirit has been cut to stand on an altar or be placed upon a magical shelf near potted plants or within your magical garden. Aww. You will notice a small circle placed above the eyes representing the second sight associated with all living things. It's like right there. Okay, where was I? Um, representing the second sight associated with all living things, able to view and perceive the world in new ways. Each carving is truly unique and will not match another. They have specifically been created to represent our connection to the natural world and to foster our innate ability to call upon spirits to provide offerings and seek wisdom, guidance, and inspiration. Know that this companion carries within a naturally charged earth spirit and can bring new insights and manifestations to your practice and meditations. When diving into building a companionship with these living energies, you will find that you begin to truly become involved with the nurturing of your soul and emotional body. Okay. I love it. It's beautiful. Okay. Um, 